Hi, hi, and hi. This is Barney again from sunny San Diego, and I welcome you to our Freedom Cast number four, and it's about WordPress. So, in this episode of the Ansel Freedom Cast, I'm going to show you how to install WordPress on your Ansel. And we build that on the LAMP stack. So, um, in case you missed it, go back to episode three. That's about the LAMP stack, and we installed the LAMP stack there, which is Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. So we've already installed it in um, in episode uh, three, and here we go. Uh, we already SSH'd into that endlet, so it's ten one one twelve. So we went into that here. And by the way, for your information, we're talking about Ansel OS version 0.3.2. So just keep in mind if you have any other version of Ansel OS installed, uh, things might be different for you. So for now, we um, just have to install a tool called wget. So wget is a tool that enables us to download things from the internet via the command line. And then we go to var www. In that directory, um, we have all the files that Apache needs to show us. So um, in episode one, I showed you how to install Apache on your Ansel. And then we talked about this directory var www. HTML. Um, for today, we're going to move that out of the way. So we say mv for move html to html.back and then we use the wget command that we just uh, downloaded or installed and then we use the wordpress.org website slash latest dot tar dot gz so that is the file that wordpress uses to distribute their latest version so we download that and then after it's downloaded we'll just have to uncompress it so here it is and we do a tar xzf and then the name of that file to uncompress it so now we see a directory called wordpress here um, so that's the uncompressed files that were in the tar uh, in the latest .tar gz uh, we see an issue here. It, the ownership is nobody and no group. So we need to change that. We issue a change owner command and we use the dash R option to do it recursively. And then we change it to www data colon www data uh, and WordPress. So um, oh, it's got to be change own, not change one, right? Okay, change own. So this is the command. All right. So now it's owned by WW Data, um, and now we re we rename that WordPress directory to HTML in order to make it accessible for Apache. So uh, what we need to do now is create the WordPress database. So we use the MySQL command uh, dash p. For password and it asked me for the password we enter the password that we chose when we installed MySQL so in episode 3 uh, when I showed you how to install the LAMP stack uh, we also installed MySQL and we picked a password for MySQL so that password I just entered so I'm in now I have the MySQL prompt so I can just say create database and then any name that we choose for our database, I'm just gonna call it WP. Okay, so we're done. We go to exit. And now we can use the web-based configuration GUI for, um, for WordPress. So we just go to HTTP and the 12 dot local uh, slash WP admin slash install.php php so that is the url that wordpress uses and wow you see here we have the wordpress uh, gui to install the rest of the wordpress so we pick english united states as the language 
Um, this is just some information. So I just click on let's go. And we put the database name here. It's got to be the name that we just chose when we uh, created the database via the command line. So we pick the name WP, so we have to use it here as well. As the username, we use root because we're uh, working with the root user of the MySQL. Uh, of course, you can use any other user as well. And then the password is our MySQL password, the one that we gave when we, uh, when we installed MySQL. And the database host and table prefix, you can just leave the defaults and then click submit and run the install. And here we go. So we just have to um, set a page title. So we could say Bernie's awesome blog, right? And the username to access it could be admin. And uh, we could use that password here. I just, I just copy it to my clipboard here. Uh, so on the Mac, it's command C to copy it. And in Windows, it would be control C. So you gotta make sure you copy this this password here. And then you enter your email, right? It's like my name at uh, here.org, okay? And then we discourage search engines from indexing the site, so we don't wanna see it in Google search results, right? And then we say install WordPress, and hey, we're done. WordPress has been installed, thank you and enjoy. All right, so now we can log in. We use the username that we just picked, it was admin, and we use the password that we copied into our clipboard. We can click on remember me, and we can log in now. Okay.